All right, so here we are. We're on our first uh, first trip up with the canoe and pardon the close up the new trolling motor. So we're off the main water now and we're going to give it a see, test out, show you guys what it's like. Here's speed number one. Speed number two. Three. A little bit faster. Four. Took it along pretty good. And then we put her up to 11. And according to our GPS, in a headwind, on rough water, we were doing 6.8 kilometers an hour. So right now, let's say we're doing, oh, maybe seven, or eight, something like that. But yeah, we're going pretty good, works all right. More to come. Well, it's cook time. We got some, uh, we got some big moose steaks cooking on the coals. We got some uh, potatoes and onions and garlic cooking out. Les Français sont partis, sont plus là. Y a plus de musique de des années 70. So we're good. We're cooking moose steaks on the stove. Megan's filling up her air mattress. And we're chillaxing. So we're finishing the moose steak. Mmm, moose steak. How oh, thick those suckers are too, man. Mmm, 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 mmm. Pereiros. Finishing them on the fire. What do you say, Chirpy? Yum. Yum. Wow, you seem so enthused. <laughs> I'm not to spill my potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that was left from people that came. The cans and the grill and that. And this and the bag. So, we're going to take it back with us. Throw it in the garbage. People that can't throw their own garbage in the garbage. Yeah. Here's making the bed. Hey, well, we're cooking some bacon for breakfast. Got our little, uh, my little coffee can stove. Which you just throw little pieces of wood in. Sitting on top of a grill and cooking up the bacon. Mm, it's good. Oh. It is good, eh? It's very greasy though and very fatty, but that's why we buy it. Because it's nice. So we don't hardly use any wood at all. We didn't even start a fire for our garbage. But uh, yeah, just find a little tiny stove, coffee can, put little nuggets of wood. Works well. Alright, well I'll show you our sleeping setup. Uh, this is my hammock. It's just a traditional regular hammock. Uh, yoga mat underneath, sleeping bag on top, big mosquito net, got a big, uh, nice powerful LED. Oop. Wow, that's bright. Missing the daytime, and then there's a flashlight on the bottom. It's pretty good. And we are in bear country, so I do have my bear deterrent spray. I have my K-Bar next to me. My machete hanging from the tree, and a nice sharpened uh, shovel handle. To deter the any attacks, Megan has the same thing, a handle, she has a big air horn, she has her knife, her knife hanging at the ready, and a light, and her hammock's the same, it's just a hand woven nylon one, with the mosquito net, 
So that's our uh, sleeping setup. It was nice last night. Not too many bugs, no rain. If we need to throw a tarp up, we just throw a tarp on this guy line here where we have our stuff hung from. We just throw one over there. We have uh, three or four sitting right there at the ready uh, with ties already off. So we are good to go. And we did have some people again stop at the island, but they're being, uh, considering they have three or four kids, they're being uh, very, very quiet. You can't hear them, they're making very much noise, but he's good. Well, sundown. It's about time to go to sleep. Packing up. It's a little dark. Get the light out. See how that works at night. Holy crap, a yolk of pudding. I think that works, eh? Yeah. Holy shit balls. Yeah, I think so. Wow, that ever work. Anyway, have a little fire before I go to sleep. You catch some fish. Phew. Oh, it's bright. It is bright. <clears throat> We're going to take a break from the fire and count, play, count the crayfish. Hmm. Well, there's one. There's two. There's... where are you? Three? There's four. There's five. Enough to keep people alive, anyway. Oh, there's another one. the moon. Nice. Beautiful shot. Quite a distance away. Sony Handycam for the win. <laughs> 